Just sit here for the moment, but can't even say I promise it'll be worth it because it probably won't. Alright, let's see if we got audio. Looking good. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, dude, so uh, we got Ryan uh, Brasher in here uh, from the Hardcore Collectors. Uh, that miniature squat is actually from, um, I'm going to check that a little closer. Um, he is from the uh, Play School line. Ah, there it is. He's from this line, the, uh, the Imagine X line. They, uh, the reason why he's opened actually is because my daughter went through this three day phase of like taking yogurt and smushing it on stuff. I don't understand, but she did it to that. Um, he comes with Babu too. Um, it's a pretty good little set. Where's the big one? There's so many toys in this downstairs. It's like you just lose sight of where everything is. Got the uh, classic one too. Sitting up there, I was up in the back. This figure is fucking terrible because it, it you can't stand it up. Like it doesn't, the feet don't go flat. I, I don't understand what you're, how you're supposed to, and there's no other articulation. There's not like an articulation here or anything. It's just these, they don't make any sense. All right, so um, with those other figures that you're talking about right now, the Squat Babu Finster, um, Squat Babu Finster are all available also through this Imagine X line. Um, there's a really great alpha that comes with the, uh, the the actual base, and I think they made it a Scorpana figure also, so or Scorpina. Really good line. I, I like them, dude. So all right, Ninja, Arson Brother Ninja signing in yesterday. I ended up going to, with the guys, we all ran down to New Jersey to the Pop Show in uh, Wayne, New Jersey at the Wayne Firehouse, and I picked up all of these Pops, let's see, um, $32 for everything. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of crazy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm wrong, 37 because it was, um, these over here were actually five each, and these over here were six each. So, uh, what do we got? That's 20, oh, 38, wrong. So, um, yeah, it was a line, Ryan. I, I really wanted it, and I just never wanted to kind of take the dive on it because I always saw them popping in and out of clearance, and then it went on for so long that I pushed it off because I was like, oh, I can't get a full line, so fuck it, I don't want it. And then I just was at this show, and they were all there at the price at this price, so what the hell could I do? Um Another line, actually, if you're a, a Rangers collector that I'm really liking, too, is the these blind box Mega Blocks, uh, for your Mega Constructs figures, um, little blind bags. These are really cool. I, I enjoyed those. Uh, we opened up on a live show, God, 15 live shows ago. So, uh, yeah, we get a few people on here. We'll start open some, opening up some things. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Definitely, guys, share this if you can. Um... If so, and I think we'll set the number at 15, I will give away a Space Ghost Pop. We'll do a uh, random wheel giveaway. So, we've gotten most of the loyal subjects, but none of the Mega Constructs. Dude, I want those loyal subjects figures. They're just so damn expensive. They're like 13 bucks each. Um, Martin had gotten lucky a while back, uh, about two, three weeks ago. On the live show, he had had those G.I. Joe ones. Uh, he picked those up, I think, for like 2 or $3 in the Walmart clearance. Um, just such a crazy deal. You, you can't help but to jump on it. But we did kind of come to terms with something yesterday, is that uh, at the convention we had seen some loyal subjects. The ones with faces, eh, they're okay, but they're not great. It's all about ones with helmets. The helmets, the stylization of the figure doesn't affect the helmeted figures, but it does affect the faced figures, so they, they sometimes look a little weird. Um... Oh, awesome. Yeah, dude, getting them loose. What the hell's the point? I mean, I, I really like, we would get like a case of something just so we could open it all up, get a loose set of something, and then sell off the rest. Uh, actually, that's what I'm doing currently on my uh, Facebook, or on my uh, email. I'll put up, a, or on my email, my eBay account. I'm putting up a ton of stuff for sale, lots of blind box stuff. So uh, if you guys have anything that you're looking for, 
kind of name it, and it's more than likely in this room. If you guys could only see the rest of this room, it's it's pretty crazy. Oh, dude, five six bucks on on loyal subjects is fucking insane. <laughs> Ah, yes, Martin signing in. What is going on, Martin? Martin is the uh, mall rat 6996. He uh, is in a perpetual state of both wanting to blow himself and it being 1996. So he does the two Mighty Mighty Boss Tone songs. Oh, I thought it was cheaper than that, Martin. I thought it was like two or three bucks. Also, gave a little secret out about Martin. Martin can blow himself, apparently, I, in my made up world. For. Loyal subjects. Ooh. Daddy T is tired. Red Bull's in the middle of the day. That's weird. It's just three watching, but there's four of you in here. Odd. So, um, I'm going to go back to tagging. I, I jumped into talking to Ryan real quick and uh, into Ninja. So, uh, usually, again, this is that part where I say to Martin, Hey, uh, Martin. Why don't you uh, say something and about a thing? And he just starts talking. Um, I don't have that opportunity right now. So, sorry guys. You got to watch me type without any kind of talking from anybody. All right. It's the fucking worst part of this whole thing. Bloody tears. Just watch the damn show. All right. This is the <laughs> And that segment was called Angry. We will edit that out. So uh, when I get back into the chat, guys, tell me what uh, what Morphin figures do you like? A, what Morphin figures do you want? Be it the ones that are already out or ones we've never seen before, and for that matter, which ones are your favorite lines? Because I actually have a few different lines here, kind of represented. I'll bring forth uh, what I think is the greatest of the lines. That is, uh, just so you guys know, that is SH Figure Arts, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, whatever anniversary it was, the uh, the White Ranger from that. His exchangeable hands, um, all of his stuff. There's a, a different blade that goes onto this, so it fits into the holster. It, this is, uh, that, that's a masterpiece. So like I was saying, we get enough people in here, guys, we'll start giving some stuff away. We have been kind of piling up the giveaway closet, so it is it is really funny. Um, we, we get all this stuff, and then we don't end up giving it away. So it kind of just sits by the side, and then we do a huge giveaway. But uh, what you guys don't realize is that every week, it's kind of something new. So getting live viewers, and we only give away to live, and you, you got to be a subscriber to get it. So, um, yeah, sub and watch live, and you will win so much shit. It's unbelievable when we hit 300 we're giving away here i'll open this so you guys can see it probably a little bit better we're giving away this sub-zero statue um that is the sub-zero quarter scale uh pop culture shock toys statue from mortal kombat 10 i believe mortal kombat x um this thing is beautiful and it's huge and it honestly weighs about i think it was 19 pounds um, we're going to give that away to people in the 48 United States, uh, not including Hawaii and, uh, Alaska. If you live anywhere that is not the 48 United States, um, you can still win it, but you're going to have to pay for shipping and it's going to be a little expensive, but I'm telling you that is a $350 statue. So, uh, if you're interested and you want to see some more pics of it, check out the, uh, pop culture shock toys, their website is pcscollectibles.com. And then uh, you can also check our Instagram at 5LiveVP, my Instagram at BobbyT55555 time, and uh, also our Facebook, we have pictures up. And we did a full review, building, unboxing, and then I did a little B-roll shot with music and all kinds of nonsense um, with this on our, our, on our channel. So just go back, uh, this is quite a ways back, but go back and check it out. It's absolutely worth it.
All right, we're going to get officially started here in a minute. I'm going to actually, uh, so I'm going to do this video uh, live here with the chat and everything. Then I'm also going to re-edit it and throw in some closer pictures and maybe some of the references that you guys do make here. I'll throw them up on the screen to give them more of a, a curated experience with it. All right. <laughs> so in the, uh, I have a vidIQ uh, thing when I, when I post videos. And what it tells me is like, so I always start off because we do lives, live and live stream. Um, so what ends up happening is it'll give you the three recommended tags, the best, hottest tags according to live and live stream. So I got PUBG, gaming music, which I, I guess, um, oh, included, and <laughs> Donald Trump. What the fuck? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I almost want to click it so that people searching Donald Trump see me and they're like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Little midday fun on Five Alive. So if you are here to see Donald Trump, guys, I absolutely apologize. You are not going to see that. You are going to see toys and no talk of that nonsense. All right. So I'm going to hit save changes and I'm ready to jump into our official show here in just one moment once I get back to... Come on, computer. All right. All right, so hopefully Martin, I'm back and looking in the chat. Martin, have uh, uh God damn it. I'm hoping Martin's over here going to vamp for me and saying, hey, he's got to go back to work. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to read the chat here real quick, and, like, and then we'll, we'll make the official start. So, uh, Ryan, uh, for when it comes to the Metallic Turtles, those are awesome. I did see the 8-Bit Turtles at this convention at 9 bucks each. I really wanted them, but I felt like my, my $36 uh, to $40 could be spent better, and it absolutely was, I, I think. Uh, turtles are awesome, but um, uh, I'm a Power Rangers fan. I uh, actually ended up getting this shirt at Target. It was 3 bucks on their clearance. Uh, I also then realized as I was washing laundry today, I had five punk Funko Pop shirts and then one normal shirt. Mm, I have to stop. Much like Martin needs to stop buying Marvel Legends before he gets a divorce, I should probably stop getting Pop shirts uh, if I want to call myself not a Pop fan. Okay, seven bucks at the uh, buy one go. Yeah, so we were actually at uh, Hot Topic yesterday. They were running a buy one get two on all clearance stuff, and the lady was just like weirdly aggressive. And I had a five dollar bill in my pocket, or I had like five bucks and some change uh, in in cash. I didn't really want to jump onto the card, so I get my daughter these three uh, Mr. Potato Head blind bags, and the girl goes, "You know, it's buy one get two free. You could grab." Uh, a few more and uh, grab six more of uh, the blind bag things and it'll only come out to uh, $15 and you'll get nine. And I was like, I have $5 to spend. Are you out of your mind? She she basically said, hey, you got five bucks? How about 15? Like, I, I just, I didn't get that one. It was a little weird, but hey. Um, I'm just happy she didn't try to aggressively make me sign into their cult or whatever the hell it is with that card. Um... Yeah, I absolutely love uh, the Legacy 7-inch. thought it was great to build a figure. I, I did a two of, so I got two of each. Um, I have enough pieces. I just wanted to have a sealed set because they look gorgeous sealed. Uh, I love that box. And also, the uh, I want them loose because I want to build that Megazord. It's, it's a fucking build-a-figure Megazord. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Absolutely. Uh, the figure arts, Ryan's saying he thinks the figure arts are the best representation from the show, but the legacy figures are the great representation of the Boom comics. And that is true because the, the comics are a little more jacked up, a little more beefy, because uh, you can do that. You're drawing, so anything goes. Here, you're dealing with a real human's body and a lycra suit with armor on top of it sometimes. Uh, so with the thinner figure arts figures, they're just perfect. Um... Yeah, no, but Ninja saying the same thing. Uh, Jamie Marshall saying uh, the official Morphin line and Legacy Morphin line. I actually have a box over in the other room that uh, we'll see. We get enough people watching, I'll pull that box out and we'll start uh, going through it. It is a full, perfectly sealed, perfectly mint set of original Zords from the first two series. 
Uh, I've been working on that. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, let's see. Going back into the chat. Perfect time. Hey, how you doing? My bolt BFF is here. How you doing, Krizza? Uh, <laughs> signed in on his lunch breaks. That is great. Um, yeah, so, all right, Ryan, totally agree too, man. TMNT, good, but Rangers, to me, better. Uh, I really love Sentai, though. Um, and actually, I think, I was thinking about doing a, a giveaway of possibly a figure arts figure. I, I have a few extras. And the, the question would be and uh, if you're on five alive or if you know this and you're not really eligible to win because you're like in my family or something um don't just blurt it into the chat but yeah if you can figure out who my favorite ranger of all time is now remember actually one thing i like mighty more from power rangers and i like sentai i do not like anything that is not this lineup of people um, I don't want to see Super Mega Force and all the nonsense that came. I just want, like, what was it, 93 to 95 or whatever it was? Um, up until they got into the Thunder Mega Zords. Once they turned into ninjas, I was pretty much out at that point. Um, because that's when things started to get really weird. But, like, the White Ranger stuff. But I'm all about Sentai. So I'll give you the hint. It is a member of Sentai. If you want to look through the, I think, 43. 42 or 43 different Sentais that have ever been. Uh, I like one of them the most ever. Um, so, yes. Uh, the ninja Look, the ninjas were good for what they were, but as a Sentai fan, I look at them, they were just goofy as shit. It was a really weird stopgap uh, because they were in the middle of... It, it was like a forced transition almost because they were in the middle of moving from Power Rangers to what effectively was Die Ranger, uh, and they needed that because they really screwed it up kind of forcing the white ranger into the into the american show um yeah i'll i'll go as far i'll, I'll put uh um rocky and sasha and cat there I, i'll throw them in there yeah we're good and adam that's fine i mean original lineup is still best always uh, I, i'm one of those guys but whatever yeah <laughs> So I am clearly not, uh, I, I'm in the minority here. Uh, the Henshin pose and transformation was see, sweet from Krizza, and Ryan began in saying the Ninjetti Rangers were his favorite. So uh, clearly I'm wrong here. Uh, sorry guys, but I, I just, uh, <laughs> it wasn't for me. Uh, but yeah, my favorite, uh, my favorite Sentai Ranger is, is uh, you may not get it, it's pretty deep in there. Uh, there you go, yeah, it's Aisha. Yeah, Aisha. Uh, the story of that is crazy, too. Uh, for those who don't know the story of why we got Rocky, Adam, and Aisha, um, it was because in real life, uh, I, I can't remember her name, Trini, I, I don't remember what her real name is, I'm sorry. Um, Trini, Walter Jones, and uh, Austin St. John went to Sabin and said, look, we're super popular. We should be getting paid more money. This is ridiculous. They were getting, yeah. So they uh, they were getting... Uh, paid very little and Sabin was like bathing himself in gold off of their their likenesses and so when they said we want more money not by doing what he did he, he recognized yes you absolutely should be making more money because he fired all three of them and he went and got those three to fill in um the very simple contract because he realized what was on the what was on the rise from the others uh, he was, luckily for him, he was able to tamp that down with the other people, uh, and they didn't go for this insurrection style, we're getting the hell out of here, uh, or you're, you're going to pay us or we're going to leave. Um, yeah, that's it. They, they I was just going to say that exact thing. Uh, Twee Trang, uh, so is the, the Yellow Rangers' real name. Uh, I think they threatened to join SAG, too. Yes, that was the other thing, because if they went union, full union, then everything would have to go union on the sh on the shot, on the, the scenes and everything. Uh, it would cost an insane amount of money. It would, it really would have been quite expensive had he said yes. So instead, he screwed over the actors, fired them, see you guys later. Uh, we get the new Rangers and they move on. They make a movie, they make, what was it, two or three movies as that cast. I think it was. It's definitely two. I, I, I don't remember if there was a third. Um, Power Rangers in Space? Uh, or Zeo? Again, I don't remember. It was all nonsense to me after that first round. Um, so, 
pretty crazy uh, how this all worked out. So I guess what we should get into, Mighty Morphin and Turbo. Was there one more? I thought there was one more. Hmm. Either way, I have a computer in front of me. I have the information of the planet in front of me. I, I'll probably just check that in a minute. Um, so let's get into some opening, some figures. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Like I was saying, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if we get enough people on, I said 15, we will give away a Space Ghost Pop here. I absolutely love this thing. Truth is, I want to look for the Zorak, too. Uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast, as everyone from our generation, my generation, loves that show. Um... Ah, uh, gotcha. I, yeah, I thought with the cast there was at least three. All right, so I'm going to put these uh, over here to the side. Oh, another thing I have sitting over here, too, is the, uh, for all your Tommy needs, not the uh, Figure Arts Green Ranger. Um, this is another line I bought multiples of. The the second, I was getting them on pre-sale, so I was able to get them like as they were coming out and was getting two of everything. Um, I lucked out one day, I went into uh, Toy Vault in Water... Water... Waterford, Connecticut. I always mix up Waterford and Watertown. <coughs> Down on the coast. And um, I'm at the Crystal Mall at that, that store. I see they have a Pink Ranger. They have it marked for 35 bucks. Now, I know for a fact, sitting on eBay at that point, they were at $120. So I naturally grabbed those two. I asked them if they have any more um, after buying them. I actually left the store and called so that they weren't like, oh, this guy's going to hoard these things. Um... So I, I called, he said that, uh, they said, yeah, we have some more over in our other store out in Rhode Island. I drove to Rhode Island. I went to all of their stores, basically bought all of these figures out. Uh, truth is, this was a, it was a uh, I'm going to do it or they're going to do it, um, putting it online because the thing was insane and they just didn't know it was sitting there. They also had Blue Rangers. I loaded up on those two. Um, yes, those new headcasts. So at Toy Fair, Bandai showed some new headcasts of... Um, yeah, we'll grab them out of here. I only have the armored one in here. The, uh... My, uh, my regular Red Ranger here for figure arts is actually at the box over around the corner. Yes, yeah, so we have an around the corner in the arcade. Um, but those new headcasts are cool because they are, uh, the coloring, sorry, the coloring apparently is like dead perfect and I, some of the pictures sucked because they took them, you kind of have to like stand up when you're in those things, you can't really like get in there and get a good picture, so they looked a little googly eyed, but still they're going to be awesome. So this is a, um, Going into figure arts briefly again, as we, it's very hard to get away from figure arts. This is the uh, Black Ranger from the Oyster episode. It's called Oyster Super. Yeah, can't remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, that's the Black Ranger in the uh, the Dragon Ranger armor because the way that happened, uh, he was shot with this acid from this oyster. Uh, it started to melt away at his power armor. Had he taken off, had he morphed, it would still be on him, and but he wouldn't have the protection of the power of the the suit. So to fix it, to kind of kind of stop the damage and maybe reverse it, they put him into the uh, the Green Ranger stuff. So they give him the Green Ranger's coin, and they give him the Dragon Dagger and everything. So he actually gets the 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 stuff. Yeah, sorry, Ryan, buddy. I think you are counting for nothing. You, you're on account to nowhere. Um, it's still relatively cheap for, for this one. I, I think it's only like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. It's still not that bad. It was only, it was $40 at Comic-Con and you had to wait in line and get a ticket for it. So, um, all right. So I guess we will get started. We have four people talking about or four people in, but like I said, we're going to get started and I'm going to cut it. We're going to re-edit this. So as the guys in the studio know, here's how we do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for hanging out in the arcade. We are Five Alive. I'm Bobby T, and today I do not have the guys with me, but we are talking about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. All right, guys. So we're gonna hear, we're gonna be here in the arcade talking about Rangers and doing some uh, unboxings. We've been talking in the chat for a little while. Um, we got a few uh, Five Alive All Stars on, uh, including Prizza on his lunch break. We had Martin Berry briefly. Um, have you seen the Legacy Morphicon exclusive? No, I have not. I'll have to check that out. 
Uh, which is it? I, I don't really want to have you guys watching me type. Uh, just tell me which one it is. But um, I'm very interested, as, as always. Um, at some point, we get enough people and uh, things are rolling, I may go pull out my original set of uh, figures and zords. We'll, we'll see how everything goes. But in the meantime, I think we're going to open up some figures. Uh, we'll start with the Pink Ranger. I mean, why not? Uh, what I love about Pops, especially in this situation, is we're going to get to open them. Uh, normally... We throw them up here on the wall. We had a pop wall over there. Uh, some of them are sideways because those are ones that are already opened. Uh, may open them, put them back in. I'm about to do a rearranging here in the arcade. So uh, these may even actually just end up going into a case um, with all these other just awesome rangers. I have so many rangers down here, it'll probably end up being two cases. So what I did like about these figures, this was um, for the Power Rangers. For Pops, actually, more than anything. Um, this was where they started to make the departure. Um, originally, before this, they would be these static posed, arms out to the side. We all know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, matter of fact, where is it? It's around here somewhere. My They Live Pop is a, a perfect example. Um, that was the pop pose for the longest time. That's all he did. When they, they stood there and that was it. Um, so, with the Power Rangers, they started to change that. And you got more, more body stuff, more build-on pieces. Not as many just using a plain body and painting over. There was either plain body or suit body, but it was always in the same pose. Uh, here, you're starting to see a little bit of their henshin pose coming out. So, they got the arms out or they're ready to fight for that matter. Now, not all of them are like that. I know the, uh, the, I think the yellow and blue. I think are the ones that are not like that. Maybe, yeah, the black is another one. Uh, but there are a few where they get a, a pretty good pose out of them. So, who's this? Hey, cool. We're, uh, we opened up Pink. Might as well open up her boyfriend, Tommy. Just recently watched this with my daughter. And she's uh, two years old. She gets fired up. I, I understand it. I mean, the music is going. And the I, I actually ended up watching the remastered versions with her. They are available on Netflix. Um, those versions, they add automatopoeia, they add uh, little like comic book scenes where you're going from one scene to the next, and it is, it's kind of cool, it's kind of weird, uh, it's just a re-editing, a re-imagining, um, if you haven't seen it, but you, if you've seen the Warriors, they did a version of the Warriors back in about 2005, 2006, where it was, uh, um, the original idea for the movie was kind of not able to be done in the budget, the original budget. So they uh, went back and kind of gave it. It's you're reading it like it's a comic book. Uh, they do the same thing with the Rangers. <laughs> when he told her not everything was about her, I cried from laughter. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, um, so this is the Green Ranger. Look, I. These pops, this is also another weird time where the quality control is a little iffy at, at, at best. Um, so the paint would be off in a lot of cases. These are okay, but um, where the green accents are, where the green points are, they get a little muddy because whatever spray mask or tampo they're using just isn't crisp. Um, we saw yesterday at the store that um, the, oh, what the hell were they? Stranger Things, uh, the 11 figure by McFarlane Toys. It's really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. And it's because uh, a lot of those, that type of figure, is starting to do uh, a basic flesh um, tone. And normally where you would put a wash on that uh, to give it more of a deeper kind of, uh, you know, give it dimension to the face. Uh, what they're doing now is they're giving like a, a splatter spray of that to the faces. And from a distance, it may look okay, but when you get closer to it, they're using a digital printed tampo or something on the eyes. Um, the eyes aren't hand-painted. Uh, the lips are the same thing. And then the spray goes over, and they just look dirty. They look dirty and unfocused. Um, it, it's really weird. Hey, Too Many Donuts, what is going on, buddy? All right, so we were actually talking about the uh, SH Figure Arts Unmasked Power Rangers just before we officially went on. I absolutely love them. I think that uh, the skin tone looks great. That was, I know, one thing that they were talking about was why I wanted to talk about what McFarlane is doing and, and just I mean, doing wrong. Let's just kind of be honest about that. I love them. Uh, is this a way for me to buy another red and green Ranger? Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to get them. Uh, I'm not going to argue it. <laughs> I'm just going to get them. Um, so 
Much in the way that I bought a Red Ranger, Red Ranger in armor, Green Ranger, White Ranger, Black Ranger, Black Ranger in armor. If they made an entire Dragon Armor line, I just keep buying them. And if they keep putting the heads on it, I'm just going to keep getting them. Uh, they, they know who uh, their fans are, apparently. So for those people just signing in, like, share, and subscribe. If you do share this and your people that you share it with come on live, we're going to do a spin wheel drawing. Uh, the drawing will be to win a Space Ghost Coast to Coast Pop. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty crispy, too. We recently brought this into the arcade. Realized we had two. So, there that is. Um, coming up pretty soon, maybe with one of these live feeds, I'm going to be doing another custom of the uh, the They Live. This is our They Lucha. Uh, we're going to be tying in the Five Live gang and some luchadors and a comic book upcoming. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes. But um, I did get one with hair, finally, and a suit. So, I'm going to paint it to look like the president... Um, which is actually also uh, the shirt that we have, which we'll be selling those pretty soon to the Five Alive They Live shirt. Um, uh, Malwai, no, not just the Tommy fan. Oh, absolutely not. Um, actually, before we said this, I'm going to do a giveaway of a figure arts figure. Uh, we won't say what which because whoever wins it, truthfully, we have a few different genres of figure arts figures down here that if you win, you can say, oh, I want a WWF or I'd like a Power Rangers or I'd like a Star Wars or I'd like a... Because we have a few. We have a, a friend over at Bandai who helps us out. Um, so we'll be doing that giveaway, um, you know, eventually. Uh, but you have to figure out to get the giveaway and, and you can send this. Uh, you can message us here on the, t on the channel if you figure out in the chat. Um... If you, yeah, it, it, any way to get a hold of us, the I am Bobby T uh, dot five live VP at gmail.com. Uh, and then you can also get us at five live video podcast at gmail.com. Also at five live VP on all the social networkings. But if you can figure out who my favorite Sentai figure is, not Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Power Rangers in general, not the American version. If you can figure out my favorite Sentai character, you will win. A figure arts figure. Ooh, ooh, oh, too many donuts with an amazingly awesome question. Um, so we'll we'll go in order. Ryan Buchanan saying Jason is one of the best, plain and simple. Uh, that's gonna be his guess uh, for my favorite. You're probably you you are actually wrong, buddy. And like I said, it's not Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's Sentai. All 40 whatever seasons of Sentai, you got to find the one Sentai Ranger that I absolutely love, that I think is the best. And if I could cosplay, if I had a skinny little body and I can cosplay this character, I absolutely would. Um, so, um, do you own the Thousand Toys KOTS figures? I absolutely do. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go grab those while we're here. Where did I put them? Oh, Would that be these Knights of the Slice figures? Oh, dude, Titanus is awesome. Chris is chiming in. Uh, Jamie Marshall saying he still has the original Zords. Uh, Dragon Zord, Titanus, and the White Tiger Zord. Dude, they are so awesome. I absolutely love those figures. I got to get a loose set in the worst way. Uh, we have that sealed set. Like I was saying, we'll pull that out a little later on. Uh, Four Knights of the Slice. Uh, yes, I do have the figures. Uh, this is... We got Brick. So Nick the Brick. The Death Knight, which, which is absolutely awesome because it comes with this cape. Uh, if you want to see some pics of the Knights of the Slice synth stuff... Check out the Knights of the Slice group on fan on uh, Facebook. Awesome group. Love these dudes. Um, a very supportive community. Tons of customizing, which we all know I absolutely love. And Chris absolutely hates. Um, and then the most recent release being the Teal Knight. I uh, was also able to get the uh, the Vector, the new Rebel Vector, and the Gamma Guy was the other ones. They came with uh, postcards of how these guys got their powers and their armors. I absolutely love this line. Jesse being one of my best friends in life. Um, I, I support this wholeheartedly because it really is one of the best things I've ever seen. I mean, I, as a kid, we would talk about having our own toy line all the time, and I never thought that Jesse was going to make one of the best toys I've ever seen in my entire life. It's 
certainly a labor of love. And if you get out and get them, uh, these are what you would Google is Thousand Toys Knights of the Slice Synth. This is a synth. Um, Knights of the Slice, I'm sorry, Synth and Thousand Toys uh, also has another, a, a few different bodies, fully articulated. It takes everything that's good about Figma, everything that's good about figure arts, and everything that's good about Knights of the Slice and smashes them together with none of the downsides, uh, which is just insane to me. You could pop these figures apart completely and put them back together without like any hassle, um, which is why these are great, but they don't do that. Um, you know, and Figma's great because of the detail, but you look at the thing and it, it falls apart in front of you. you. Not this thing. I'm blown away, guys. Um, so we'll go back into the chat. Alright, well, nothing going on right now. Alright, so we're going to jump over, open up a few more here. Yeah, man, uh, the brick is, they're all just too good, and I love these capes. The, the mixed media cape, man. So good. Death is... I lucked out on that one. I was actually on the fence. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've uh, Figmas are very brittle. Um, they're not very good at taking falls, for one. But I went to go pose an arm on an uh, Attack on Titan figure. Snapped it right off. I wasn't garroing it. I wasn't being hard with it. It just popped. And it wasn't like it was a frozen joint. It was just a bad piece. And... Uh, all right, Bolt BFF out. Chris, Chris is going back into work. Um, he actually just picked up the the new Cuphead Devil for me, so I'm waiting for that. Can't wait for Wednesday on that one. So we'll go back. Uh, all right, we got the, God, again, just really sloppy spray, especially on the chest on the Black Ranger. Uh, I'm going to take a couple pictures of these and throw them on the Instagram at 5 Live VP. Um, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's just muddy. Just garbage QC. It's a very old Funko situation is really what it comes down to. Uh, absolutely not. My Figma was not a bootleg. Um, I ordered it directly from them. So, no. Not a bootleg, just a shitty figure. Um, yeah, knockoff Figmas would be terrible. Although the worst knockoffs I've ever seen, I have... I have a couple knockoffs that I got almost because they were just hilarious. Um, I really like knockoff wrestlers, but that, that's a whole other thing. I'm talking about... Um, I have some knockoff uh, Nendoroids. I have a, uh, the Pokemon Catcher Ash and this terrible Iron Man that... You want to talk about Fall Apart when you look at it? It literally did that to me once. Um... Don't have any full size knockoffs like of, of any of that stuff. Um, one guy, I'm, I was selling a Triple H uh, Figma on my eBay, and I, I put it up for fifteen bucks. I just want to get rid of it. Um, he questions me as to whether or not it's real because it doesn't have the WWF thing. I explained to him that no, it's actually not. I have a relationship with Bandai. We get these things. Um, this figure was actually given to me at the same time as the Rock and Stone Cold five months before it came out. So this is really a test shot. It was a first shot, not production. Uh, some of the writing on the back is a little bit different, uh, and it's only because this is an early version of it. Uh, I didn't know that. I got the email back going, yeah, we gave you something. So really, that guy missed out on a early prototype figure arts figure for $15 because it didn't have a WWF sticker on it. And I was like, all right, that's fine, but that stuff doesn't go on until the final product comes out of the factory. So, yeah, he gave up on a prototype. That said, now I'm keeping it. Fuck it. Um, dude, the Iron Man Nendoroids are so bad. The face pops out. The arm dangles off. Dude, it's the worst. It doesn't stay in the little... <laughs> in the, in the posing piece. Oh, just so bad, man. So, um, all right, who we got? We open the Black Ranger. Yeah, we'll open the Yellow Ranger. I do enjoy the Yellow Ranger. Okay. See, what was funny about the Yellow Ranger? Um, yeah, I'm about to do the same thing with uh, going into the chat real quick. Uh, Ryan said he's about to uh, glue together his um, his Nendoroid bootlegs. Yeah, just why not? At this point, like they're just gonna fall apart. They're all loose joints and, and everything. So you just glue them together. Who cares? 
Uh, I think I paid like $5 and couldn't stop laughing as I handed the $5 to the guy at the convention. Um, so, Yellow, Yellow Ranger. Um, what was interesting about the Yellow Ranger is that... Um, oh, even better. Free? No problem. Um, again, QC problem. You have paint rubs all over the place. You've got just bad spray, not straight lines. I don't know what's going on with these, but... Uh, for every piece of good that they represent in the Funko Pop line and the evolution of Funko Pop, they represent every bad thing too. So that's kind of interesting that uh, they're both. You don't usually get both. So that's the Yellow Ranger now. In um, Sentai, in uh, Zoo Ranger, what was interesting about the Yellow Ranger is that he was called um, Saber Ranger, Saber Tooth Ranger. Um, and... His name was Boy, B-O-I. Um, in the American version, obviously, we have Tui Trang. That's, uh, she's very much a, a female. Now, on the pop, you actually have breasts. Now, what's funny is on the SH figure art of, um, and actually the original action figures by Bandai, but the SH figure arts, there are two versions. There's the Saber Ranger, and then there's the, uh, the Trini version. So, going back to the original toys, a lot of those original toys were just recastings of the original uh, Zoo Ranger show brought over to America with new packaging. Uh, the issue was that boy was a boy. So, your Yellow Ranger is going to be flat chested, whereas, and, and with no skirt portion, but your Pink Ranger is not going to be because I believe her name was May, Princess May, in uh, Zoo Ranger. Um, she was obviously a woman and had that costume, and, and that's why that's a female figure. But even when you see the early episodes of Power Rangers, it's very clearly a man in this suit, and he doesn't have the skirt or the, the feminine features that the female version would have later on once Aisha joins in. So, um... Oh, not Boobus Figure Arts, Japanese one, nice. Um, so... One thing that that actually did happen was because they were using Die Ranger footage. Uh, this is the the Red Ranger again, changing up the body. Really cool, giving a little punch. Actually has QC. Not a terrible figure. Not a, not a terrible pop. Here, we'll put him in the middle. I think he was usually. I think it was like this, and like this, and like that. There we go. Which means, so uh, we'll open up this blue one here. Um, when, by the time Aisha and the other people had come on to the show, um, they were go they were about to start using the White Ranger. Uh, if they hadn't already, I don't, I don't think they had had. Um, so the White Ranger wasn't a thing yet. They were going to start using Die Ranger footage, which meant that your footage never was going to match up in a fight. Because the fights of Zoo Ranger had that costume and the fights of Die Ranger had that costume. So they were running both Zoo Ranger and Die Ranger at the same time. So while there is some spliced in footage of just the White Ranger fighting or just the Zoo Rangers fighting, uh, there would also be footage of them together. And that together footage would then have the Yellow Ranger with her skirt portion on. So pretty interesting. They jumped all over the place. So uh, Too Many Donuts uh, says here in the chat, ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read you, he, he, he put the correction in, really funny. The only pop I own is a classic Iron Man that I got from Universal Studios. Is paint is ass. Okay. <laughs> it was his paint is ass, but it was funny because I'm like, what the, what did he just say? Um, so Blue Ranger. Um, always loved David Yost. I, I think it's terrible what they did to him uh, in real life. Um, Billy as a character stayed on the show for a very long time, took... Took, uh, from what we understand, quite a bit of shit. Uh, go on and, and Google it. I, I don't want to talk about it because uh, it's terrible. Um, but absolutely love Yost. He's starting to show up at the conventions now more. So that's really great. So people are getting... You always see um, Amy Jo and you see uh, you would see JDF everywhere. And you'd see Austin St. John everywhere. Then Walter jo Jones joins. By the way, ripped. I don't know if you guys have seen this dude's Instagram. I think... This dude looks better now than he did when he was, like, a super active teenager. How the hell is that? Like, it's crazy. Dude's ripped. I, I would love to see him come back and do something with the Rangers. Um, 
<laughs> Yost, that's what I figured. Yeah, Yost is great, man. He, he's a good guy. He understands the power of the fans, um, and he understands the love that the fans do have, and, and that's a big deal. Um, I, I know a lot of people who make these more popular licenses, they tend to lose sight of the fact that it's the fans who are the ones paying that big fat paycheck you're getting. Um, he has realized that. All these Rangers guys have realized it, um, that it, it really is about what they gave us and now in the later years, what we give them back. Um, so I'm actually going to throw this. We're going to do a little rearranging here. Pull these guys back. But yeah, now you can pretty get pretty much get without Twee Trang, you can uh, you can have the entire cast at almost any convention take a picture with you. I think it's like sixty bucks, and you get the entire group with autograph. Um, it's, it's great. Can I put the Jesse head on one of the Power Rangers? Probably. Um, I don't see why not. Uh, the See, all right, so I don't know if this is a sculpting line. Now, the issue is, so on the side of the head here, it really depends on this side of the head because I've never taken apart a, a figure art. I don't know. Um, I can't tell if this is um, on the side of the helmet here, if it's a line or if it's a design feature, uh, meaning that it's a line that's on the helmet or is it a tooling line where the where it pulls apart? Um, because then you can essentially just think about um, the idea that um, um, if you can think about this, uh, that so the head is two pieces and it's going to. We'll use uh, the Green Ranger here is what uh, is a base. Or we'll use the, this because it stands up easier. If this is the head joint, uh, which is the ball joint, does it go like this and the two pieces pull apart? Or is that actually one piece with a sculpted line that if I heat it up, it'll pop out? I don't know that answer. Um, if it pops off or if it pulls apart, either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, Jesse's head will fit on there. Um, the head hole looks about the same. I, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, truth is, like you know, you can clearly see I haven't even opened mine yet. I just love the packaging so damn much. Um, they just look so good on package, man. Uh, Aisha, Karen, Ashley, has been also showing up. Yeah, I saw her at a, a con in... That whole crew, the, the three new guys, had showed up at a convention last year in uh, Stanford, Connecticut. So I got to see her there. Um, all right, and then the final piece, uh, Tommy number two, the White Ranger. I think there was like seven different Tommies uh, after all the years had gone by. So now this is interesting. This is really good. I mean, it's got paint, scrubs, and stuff. I can get that off with alcohol. That's not a problem. Uh, but you can't fix bad overspray, or, or I'm sorry, for that matter, underspray with a look that is overspray, where it's like little freckles. Um, but, so one thing I noticed today, let's see. So if you notice, oh, no. The number on this one is 361. And that is because the Green Ranger 360, Black Ranger 361, Yellow Ranger being number 362, and 363 is the Blue Ranger because they only put out four. This was a little earlier, obviously. These ones, the Red, White, and Pink Rangers, are number 406, 405, and 407. So this is clearly later in the game, and maybe we saw more. Just they, they had fixed a lot of their QC issues. Now I'm saying this because as I have gone through these figures i've noticed the best looking ones are pink red and white with the good ones and the other ones are just garbage they hold that static pose they don't they're missing they're missing so much uh they're, they're just very lacking and this is where the evolution was so white ranger buddy here we'll stand you right up on top of there actually here we'll do this keep everything nice and straight you get out of here you slacker there we go. Actually, I guess it would be like this, right? So we're going to be rearranging the cases here pretty soon. I can't wait. It's They've had them like this for almost a year. Um, Tommy has been six different Rangers over the years. His last legacy figure is the next wave, and I'm effing stoked. Kills me that Bandai's leaving, man. I, I That or that Bandai and, and uh, Sabin have parted ways. I'm still happy. Sentai is still with Bandai, so we can be happy for that. But, geez, man. Uh, one of the lines I'd like to get into, it's a Sofubi version of the Rangers. They're vinyl. 
um, almost in, in the, the sense of a pop, very unarticulated, but it's just a plain figure. They've been making them since day one. They come in these uh, very tight cardboard boxes. So I keep wanting to do that, but uh, it, it's 43 years of Sentai is, is a lot of action figures. Wait, just kind of popped in my head. Thousand Toys, Integer Night. Ah, the pink and the light blue one. Absolutely. Whoa. All right, so uh, Integer Night is a pink and blue variation of the Knights of the Slice. Uh, came out, I think that was in the original blind bags. It's one I don't even have. Uh, I go over, <laughs> the way I get my nights lately is uh, about every four months, Jesse and I will get together for a day just hanging out, and he goes, here's your new nights. He just hands me a box full of the stuff, and but... That came out before uh, I had bought the blind bags. I got the Kickstarter, and I never got an Energy Knight. Kills me. Um, yeah, Hasbro's going to do a good job. Uh, I, they're they're going to do a good job. They're not going to screw it up. Why would they? Why would you screw something up intentionally? Uh, they're paying so much money for it. Uh, it it's going to be good. And, dude, that's going to mean we're going to have Marvel Legends scale and detail leveled figures of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We're good. I'm good. Fine by me. Uh, I, I don't, and play sets, they can keep them cheap because Hasbro has that ability to get a hundred dollar play set in the scale of those figures and have this giant piece. I like it. I like it. Um, I wish Bandai could have done it, but obviously they didn't. Yeah. What, what's, that's the other thing. I can imagine them doing a, a, a legacy type line where you get the figure and you get a head and you easily pop them off and pop back on and you have two heads for your figures. It's awesome. Oh, Ninjetti. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, we were talking a, a ahead of time uh, on before we went live, talking about Rangers and everything. And I talked about, I don't like the ninja versions of the ninja of the Rangers. Uh, I thought it was a really crappy stopgap for them to segue into the future errors they were going to be making. <laughs> Dude, plain clothes. Are you kidding me? But see, you don't even need that though. Because now, if we get Hasbro to make these figures and they do the heads, the, the regular heads and a helmeted head, what's to stop you from getting some, um, I think Diamond Select had made the Buffy the Vampire Slayer figures. Awesome plain clothes figures. Some of the Marvel Legends figures are plain clothes. Um, there's um, a few plain clothes versions of the DC hero, the DC figures that come in those uh, the the red or orange box. I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, the twenty dollar versions. Uh, I like it. This can very much happen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Too many donuts. MMPR was picked up by Hasbro. It's gonna be fucking dope, guys. I I, I can't say really much. They're gonna be twenty bucks a piece. We know this. Fine. Um, it's gonna be good. And three and three quarter, GI Joe. Or Marvel MCUC uh, versions of, oh man, I just got myself excited. Like this is legitimate, legitimate excitement in my head right now because my wife knows this look and I just kind of, uh-huh, because I'm seeing the line in my head right now and it's getting me very excited. Um, yeah, exactly, too many donuts. I'm starting to see it in my head, man. I'm starting to see three and three quarter figures jumping into a um, into their Zords and those Zords becoming... And clicking together to be a, because don't forget, we're talking about the people who make Hasbro Transformers. We're talking about a Metroplex or um, Fortress Maximus sized Zord. With that level of detail and that level of quality, Bandai could never touch that. Their most recent Zords have kind of been garbage. They're slapped together pieces. It's, yeah. Oh, man. Don't give them any ideas. What are you talking about? I need that. I'm giving them all the ideas I can have. Where's my... Oh, there he is. Body slam this. I mean, seriously, guys. Like... So, are we serious? This is going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I have any three and three quarter guys in here? That is a five inch, but still, imagine. That's just awesome. I It's so big 
that it's it's out of frame. His head's out of frame. Um, yeah, oh, dude. How about this, Ryan? Both. I want six-inch Joes, and I want four-inch Rangers. I want them both. I want it all. I'm Veruca Salt, and I'm sorry. I want it now. Um, but, yeah, this is just too awesome. I would love to see Zords in this level of quality. Um, oh, man. Especially if they're... I mean, this is a five-inch. This isn't even a three-and-three-quarter-inch figure. Oh, pff, duh. I'm sitting here using this damn figure, and I should be using... Where are you guys? Where, where, where are you guys? <laughs> I'll use what is considered to be a grail as an exp <laughs> as a an explanation as to why I want this so bad. Um, I'll just throw you right up there, buddy. He's gonna fall. So, for those of you who do not know what is sitting on the arm right now, that is the Purple Knight. Uh, that was a Kickstarter exclusive for the Knights of the Slice. Very rare, very sought after. I love this figure. I was debating selling it, but every time I do, I go, ah, yeah, I don't want to do it. Um, so, but that's exact. All right. Inside of the is exactly what I was about to get to. So... Can we imagine if there is a way for them to, to make this work? Uh, it may even have to come like this where it's already built, can't pop apart, um, of a Power Ranger where the chest opened and you had the five seats for everybody to sit down. Guys, we're going to get a Dragon Ranger or a Dragon Zord. I just kind of realized that. Jesus. I can't wait. I, I, I can't wait. Oh, boy. I just kind of freaked myself out. I'm, I'm having, like, this is like a nerdgasm right now. Um... Like a cassette deck. Exactly. Exactly, dude. So, I'll take... There you go. Put you down there, bud. So, um... Yeah. Did anybody ever... Did anyone jump in on this deal? This was uh, from the Ollie's. Uh, Ollie's, it's a closeout store. We have one here in Connecticut. And, um... It's... I have never been... I have never been in there. But on Hardcore Collectors, this, like, huge, huge explosion had happened... And these were 40 bucks a piece. I don't like Transformers, but I do like giant robots that cost 40 bucks. Um, yeah. That's... This is this thing is just awesome. I've only transformed it once. I, it, it's kind of nonsense, but still dig it. I mean, it, it's Fortress Maximus. I'd love the original, but I don't want to spend that much. So, I didn't put the... Yeah, I didn't put the batteries in, so he doesn't he doesn't actually talk or do any other noises. Oh man. See that's the thing, dude. I'm not a Transformers guy either, but forty bucks. I mean what what can you do with that? You know, that's crazy. So Alright, I think before we go, I'm gonna kinda wrap this up here. We've been talking for a little while. Uh, before we wrap this up, just want to say to everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. We know it's the middle of the day and an unexpected uh, posting, but we talk Power Rangers, we talk Knights, and uh, yeah, yeah, no, sorry guys, <laughs> I keep going back to the chat. Ryan, absolutely, 40 bucks, dude. Uh, I actually gave one to Jesse, um, and then the other two I bought, I had did a uh, little dirty swapping over at the uh, Toys R Us and uh, twice actually. I was like, you know, I want to get some new figures but I don't have any money. And I looked over and I saw a pile of Fortress Maximuses and I went, yeah, I'm going to have to do this. And then I came home with a pile of Marvel Legends. Um, actually not. I came home with more Power Rangers stuff. <laughs> and wrestlers probably, knowing me. Um, so, what other lines are you guys interested in? Uh, not talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's something we don't really ask on the show. We haven't really done a poll. I briefly did a poll on Hardcore Collectors. The three things that came up was NECA, Marvel Legends, and Transformers being number one. They, they love on uh, Hardcore Collectors. It's funny, I, I love that group. I do not collect Transformers. Uh, there was a guy a while back who said, oh, this is just a Transformers group. and It's really not, but yeah, there's a lot of Transformers fans in it. Um, dude, I'm a Gundam freak. You know what? Before we go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... Let me go grab something.
All right, so end of the video, figure I'd show this. Throw up some pictures on the Instagram, you guys can see them a little bit closer. Um, you know, we're gonna move all this stuff over to the side. Too good, too good, can't share spotlight. Get over there, you guys get over there. Okay. All right, we'll finish this. Where do we start? Start where, at the beginning. So, this collection had been amassed over very, very many years. This is a 100% uh, fully sealed original 1993-94 versions of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So we've got uh, the carded figures being Pink Ranger, uh, Yellow Ranger. And what's cool is uh, this is one of the first build of figures as I remember um, because you built the Power Blaster uh, or the whatever they call it in here. The Power Gun. Yeah, Power Blaster. So uh, here's a Billy. And then I think that we didn't see another mega or another build a figure for a while, and it wasn't until the movie Virus, which actually had a really cool build a figure. Um, got Black Ranger. Red Ranger. And finally, Green Ranger. So what is cool is they've re-released these flip heads in, um, we have them here in the arcade. I just do not remember where, um, they are doing new versions of these with the flip heads in like a legacy style packaging. So it's really cool. Check those out. <laughs> oh, oh, you think that's the thing that's making you yell just open the damn thing, huh? So everything I'm showing you, uh, with the, actually this is the only part that isn't, um, that everything here is 100% sealed. Um, these were original store buys. For instance, this was bought originally in 1994 and it was bought at Bradley's for $21.99. Um, so I have Dragon Dagger. Okay. These ones, the big flip heads. Now these also be going up on the eBay here pretty soon, I think, actually. Make a little space. Got these. <laughs> oh, a lot of people would love five minutes in the arcade. I uh, We were briefly talking about this in the Hardcore Collector, saying that when people come to do work on my house, I now try to stay away from them. Because if you have to work on my boiler or something, you're downstairs. So you see all of this. But they always want to talk about it. They all say the same thing. I don't mind like talking about toys, but say something more than, I had all of this stuff, my mom threw it away. Because I start to respond, and, oh, that sucks, what a bitch. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> um, so, where are we going to start? Where are we going to start? Oh. I do have all the battle bikes. Um, so, there is a blue, which is, he's actually, what's in here? Oh, this is the sealed one. All right, so I have these loose and sealed. Um, this one is the Triceratops battle bike. We have that loose up here inside of the case too. Um, have this open, the Thunder bike, which was uh, later on. Oh, big Jason with the karate kicking feet. Another thunder bike, the yellow. All right, all the little stuff is done. All right, so where do we start? Where do we start? All right, you know what? We start at number one. This, my gentle dudes.
So let's guys look at that for a moment. Oh, that's because you haven't seen the rest. Uh, Ryan saying is in awe. Too many donuts. My pants just disintegrated. Um, all right, so I guess we'll we'll just do these in order. I guess of, of how we saw these things, right? Ugh. Nice and nice and crispy corners. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Ryan, I put these up on THC before. Not a lot of guys seem to like it. Um, I don't know what, you know, if I, if I picture, put up a picture of a, a fucking Transformers nutsack, it'll end up getting like 200 likes. I put up something like this and nobody, it just gets lost in the shuffle. So I, I stopped caring. Um, oh yeah, it was a while back. Uh, I, I can post them, I can always post them again. I love these things. So, uh, sorry, let's see. Then we saw Titanus. Then after Titanus was oh I'm just gonna be quiet for this part. Because you haven't seen the next two parts. All right, then. So let's see. We saw the Green Ranger on the show, and he loses his ability. And then he becomes. What's actually interesting about this piece is sealed. Not a lot of people know this. Um, he doesn't come with his chest plate on. Uh, he actually, the chest plate is, uh, it's like over here somewhere in the package. Um, I don't actually, I don't have an open version of this, so I don't know what the, the package looks like, but I think it's, it's either right here or it's right here. Um, yeah. All right, and now the final piece in my uh, my box of craziness is a pack of Star Wars Duel. Oh, wait, that's not it. The Thunder, Thunder Zord Assault Team. I do have a red dragon also, but he is uh, loose. Haven't been able to get him sealed up, so... So, again, like I was saying, guys, I got them loose. I uh, just don't have them. I actually have a broken loose one. I need a new arm front portion here. It uh, broke off a while back, and I haven't been able to get just... I need just that part and, like, the little pin and the articulation that goes with it. So I've been looking at, like, savers and, I guess, what you call up in Canada, the Value Village, uh, just for one of these figures so I can pop his arm off so I can get the other piece. Um... Oh, boy. What else is in here? Oh, <laughs> this was a two dollar deal at the uh, at at uh, Toys R Us. It's from the Dino Rangers or whatever they are here in America. I guess comes with the Pink Ranger one, and then I think it yeah it talks. It's time. It says it's morphin time. Although I mean, as crappy as crappy as Super Mega Zords or Super. <sighs> Mighty Force, Super Mega, Super Mega Force, shitty show. Thing it did have, this. Amazing, right? So, yeah, 
Uh, definitely, if you can get out there, this I think would be the more the the morpher I would most suggest. Um, next to the um, Shinkenger uh, Mighty Morphin Samurai, it was a brush because their whole thing was they would uh, they'd flip like a little brush out of their phone and do like their whatever slash, and then it would like go onto their face. It's awesome. Um, so, like I was saying, guys. I will be giving away a figure arts figure, or really, I think we'll call it a toy of your choice because who knows? Someone might come in and go, "Hey, I really want that." You never know. Let's see. Let's see how Bobby T feels that day. Um, if you can figure out who Bobby T's favorite Sentai character is, that's all you got to figure out. I've said it. I've said it probably twenty times. You just need to go back and find it. Uh, I haven't said it in a while. So you got to be kind of a little bit of an old school fan or uh, kind of know me. So th that said, the people who know me, you can't win this. So, and uh, as always, 48 United States, if you win and you live out of the country, that's fine. Uh, and also Alaska or, Alaska or Hawaii, uh, you'll just have to pay for shipping, but you'll still get the toy for free. It's a ranger. It's a ranger. It's not a character, so it's not like uh, Alpha or... Well, Alpha wasn't in the Japanese version. That's the only hint I'm giving, is that it's from Sentai, not from Power Rangers. So, And when I say Power Rangers, I mean all of it, from 93 till last week. Um, but it is a ranger, and I won't say, is it a man? Is it a woman? Is it an alien? Is it a dog? I don't know. <laughs> They've had all of those things. <laughs> They had a dog, and, uh, and uh, I think it was here, it was called SPD, I, I don't remember what they called it over there, um, go, go Kendra, anyway, it doesn't matter, it was a police force, and the chief was a dog, <laughs> he was awesome, um, so guys, I'm gonna wrap this up and say thank you very much for hanging out, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, the sharing and the subscribing really, really helps get our numbers up there so we can start making more money off this, so we can get more toys um we have a meeting coming up maybe towards the end of the month with i am elemental if you love knights of the slice you know who they are it is in their dna um dude the dog from spd was awesome but yeah check out i am elemental um the the sets that i would suggest and i brought this up in a video in the past uh, are the ones that come in the lunch boxes. I think one was called Power, the other one was Wisdom. And these figures are female figures that embody the inner qualities that you need to have that overall quality. So there's courage and there's strength and there's uh, all these different characters that are based off of these values and put them together and you get wisdom. Um, Baby T loves her figures. They are three and three quarter to four inch figures with amazing accessories. Heads that pop off so you can kind of play the head swapping game. Uh, so definitely check them out. It's I Am Elemental and uh, we will be with them soon. So with that, guys, we have been five alive. I have been five alive. And do not forget, you bought it because you love it. That's all that matters.